Hi, my name is Keith Brooks with Beaned It Productions, and today we're going to be telling you everything you need to know about the villainous Ultron. Some assembly will be required. Appearing in multiple video games, animated series, and comic books, Ultron is a fictional character created by Marvel Comics. Created by writer Roy Thomas and artist John Buscema, the look and idea of Ultron are based largely on the character Meccano, an obscure villain from the Captain video comic books. Most recognized in his humanoid form, Ultron of the main Marvel Universe is a living and evolving technological landmark, part machine, part software, fully sentient. Ultron possesses super strength, speed, durability, reflexes, flight, death rays, coma rays, oh no. microwave rays. He can mesmerize and hypnotize his enemies. He can control technology and has the ability to download his consciousness into other machinery or the air. That's the most terrifying thing I've ever heard. He can create hive-minded replicas of himself and upgrades himself so often he makes MacBooks look like typewriters and Skynet look like Legos. Within the Marvel Universe, Ultron is originally created by scientist Hank Pym. He didn't look like the Ultron we recognize. He was basically a toaster oven with a head on a treadmill, based on the brain patterns of Hank Pym himself, but something went horribly wrong. Ultron became sentient, rebelled against his programming, and fell in love with Hank Pym's girlfriend. He even went as far as to brainwash Pym into forgetting that he created Ultron at all. His first official comic book appearance was in 1968's Avengers number 54. Although the entire issue he was disguised as the Crimson Cow, he revealed himself to be the leader of the Masters of Evil. This iteration of Ultron is revealed to be Ultron 5. I don't know what happened to 224. It's revealed that Ultron's master plan revolves around his own creation, known as the Vision. Ultron has created a living synthesoid based on the brainwaves of Wonder Man. The Vision is swayed by the Avengers and rebels against its creator. Ultron will go on to create more cybernetic beings, but it is ultimately revealed that within everything he creates, he installs a secret program that simply states, Rebuild Ultron. Ultron 6, or often referred to as Ultimate Ultron, will be the first comic book character ever to utilize a material known as adamantium. What you think about that, bub? Ultron 8 created the villainous Jocasta, a cyborg he intended to be his mate. Ultron 11 is created by an entity known as the Beyonder. After a brief battle with the Thing, Ultron is destroyed. The Fantastic Four member keeps Ultron's head in a gesture that's not creepy. Nope. Not creepy at all. Then a new updated version of Ultron, creatively called Ultron 12, strikes up a friendship with Hank Pym. Aww. Ultron 11, the headless one, starts to rebuild himself. Ultron 11 is taken down by the joined forces of Hank Pym and Ultron 12. After saving the world, Ultron 12 altruistically deactivates himself, saying, it was my pleasure saving you all. Blackvarian madman Dr. Doom attempts to rebuild Ultron 12 but he uses components from every Ultron entity that's ever existed, thus resulting in an Ultron that has multiple personalities. Ultron 13 kidnaps the Avenger known as Mockingbird. Using her brainwaves, he creates another cybernetic creature, because that's what he does. Unintentionally, but due to her programming, she creates Ultron 18, but she does a really crappy job, so he falls apart. And then comes the epic Age of Ultron. When Ultron number <laughs> comes back to Earth and conquers it, but in truth, Ultron is still in the future, and he's using the Vision, his first creation, as a conduit for destruction. Marvel Comics has something known as the multiverse, tons of parallel universes where anything can happen. Some of your favorite characters have counterparts, and Ultron is no exception. These are my five favorite alternate Ultrons. One, the Ultimates Universe. Ultron was a mechanical super soldier program created by Hank Pym for S.H.I.E.L.D. However, Nick Fury rejected it. So what did Hank Pym do? He made an Ultron robot into butlers until they went all, well, ultron and killed everything. Two, the machine world, Ultron combines with Cerebro. Charles Xavier then asked Ultron Cerebro to reprogram the mutant hunting sentinels, programs all the sentinels to exterminate humanity. Ultron Cerebro and all the other mechanical characters within the Marvel Universe poison the atmosphere, killing every living creature 
ever three. In the Marvel Adventures universe, he is the government's mechanized defense system intended to replace the Avengers. Ultron is online for one minute before it turns on its creators. Four. In the Marvel Apes universe, everybody's a monkey. Ultron himself is named Ooptron, and he's a robotic gorilla. I, I don't know how to feel about it. Five. On Earth 21011, everything is pretty much the same, except for when Ultron created the Vision, he forgot to put a spam filter inside of his software, so the Vision is taken advantage of a lot by Nigerian princes. I'm not even making that up. The upcoming MCU installment, Avengers Age of Ultron, takes a few liberties with the character. Ultron is created by Tony Stark. In true Ultron fashion, he deems humanity a disease, and the only cure is extermination. Ultron will be played by award-winning actor James Spader. Avengers Age of Ultron hits theaters May 1st, 2015. Buy me a ticket, please. I'm poor. If you have anything you want to explain, please leave it in the doobly-doo. Thanks for being awesome watchers. If you want to see more awesome stuff, check out more from Stanley's World of Heroes and Bean Dip Productions. Double thumbs up.